Hi there, Nick Hedden, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Indiana. Well, there's no doubt 2024 has been off to a slower start than in years past. And as we wait on the sidelines for our fields to dry up and become fit again, the weeds will not wait for us. So today I want to talk about the start clean, stay clean concept that we've adapted over the years and go through a few different field scenarios that are going to present challenges whenever these fields do become fit again and we can jump back in and either perform field work or spray a burn down to control what's out there. I'm in a field where giant ragweed and lamb's quarter have really gotten a jump start in this field here. So this field was worked down last fall, uh, did an excellent job taking out the winter annual weeds, but the giant ragweed and lamb's quarter have really come on strong, germinated in April. We've been delayed and temperatures have really accelerated growth in these weeds. So. If the plan of attack is to level up with a field cultivator, some of these bigger plants will slip right through. We're talking six to eight inch tall giant ragweed, and I've had experience in the past where a field cultivator will lay these plants over, will get covered up in the soil, and they'll pop back up. So the best case scenario for a field like this could be to spray a burn down just to make sure you've got a good kill, and then go ahead and work before you plant. Okay, so water hemp is our main driver weed here in the Midwest. And typically, water hemp won't emerge in the northern half of Indiana until the second or third week of May. I've already found some water hemp seedlings, and I'm sure if you went out and scouted some fields where you've had a history of water hemp pressure, you could find some as well. Okay, so I'm at a field where we've had some water hemp pressure in the past. And as you can see, we've already got some, some water hemp seedlings that have already emerged. A uh, field cultivator won't have any problem taking them out at this size, but if we continue to get delayed, these seedlings can really take off with the temperatures that we have in the forecast. So it would be wise to just go back to those fields where you've had a history of pressure and just make sure you've got a game plan before you get into these fields. Last thing I want to talk about are some of these fields where we've got a real mess going on. So it could have been a no-till field that didn't receive a fall burn down or just wasn't worked last fall to take out the winter annuals. We've got chickweed, henbit, purple dead nettle, uh, field penny crests going on out here. And these, these weeds have all flowered and they're maturing and they will die slowly, but something will still need to be done to accelerate their death and to dry this field out a little quicker. So you may have to beef up your burn down into something a little more aggressive or it may be uh, a vertical till or a turbo till tool to really chop up what's out here to get this field ready to be planted. But as far as start clean, stay clean, this is part of it. We've got we've to start these fields with no weeds present, no weeds actively growing, and then we've got to lay down an effective residual to prevent future weeds from coming up. Thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.